20th century Assam In the early 20th century in the princely state of Gauripur local zamindars exploited local population The zamindars used to practice hunting of wild animals like tigers and leopards as part of a trophy hunting culture But in 1896 when Raja Prabhat Chandra Barua took control of the state he took strict measures to control indiscriminate hunting of wild animals in the region Even though he himself enjoyed hunting but he regulated the number of hunts to maintain ecological balance later he completely put an end to hunting but as the area reported sighting of man eating tigers prabhat chandra barua responded to such prayers and organized man eater hunt he used to take his daughter nihor bala who later became a pioneer of upliftment of lower caste people in society nihor bala Nihor Bala was an energetic and skillful lady. She used to accompany her father in man eaters hunt and so she was well acquainted with skills of gun firing, horse riding and elephant riding. She even recorded to have killed three tigers and four elephants. But as time passed, she realized the importance of conservation and took deep interest in wildlife and ecology, so much so that she dedicated a room in her house to a tiny museum containing insects, pebbles, shells, crystals, birds eggs and other natural objects. From ecology to socio-economic reform. During those days, society was divided among many castes and sub-castes. Nihor belonging to an aristocratic family encountered many lower caste servants in her house. These housemaids sang their own folk songs to entertain their kids. In one such encounter, Nihor was so fascinated by the folk songs that she turned her curiosity into a passion. During those days, it was a taboo for members of aristocratic family to engage in lower caste cultures. Her passion was opposed by her family and so they married her off to Gauripur to Mukundo Narayan Burwa but she still continued to pursue her passion to gather extensive knowledge she used to visit the remote village in disguise she met the different classes of people and studied their traditions and culture she even collected songs of the boatman Koibotor Mehaur Moikhol wedding songs and dances of Hindus Muslims and tribal people era of change impressed by nihor bala's passion her husband and her father to supported her in the celebration of lower caste culture her father prabhat chandra even appointed a muslim folk singer karitullah khan to teach dotara and folk songs to his grandchildren pratima pande and rinal celebration of folk culture both nihor bala and her father broke barriers of hindu conservatism pratima pande borua daughter of nihor bala's brother later became a household name as she elevated gwalpariya songs to a different level nihor bala herself became the pioneer of rajponshi folklore in that region her sibling pramatesh borua became a legend in indian film making history another sibling Prakritish became an elephant expert because of their contributions Bhavaiya became a better known folk music in Bengal and Assam